Hi, this is Chuck. This is Aquaculture uh, Home uh, Video Part 3. Uh, we're at the point now in the operation where we're actually uh, making some adjustments and making some tweaks. Okay. As you can see, the tank is glowing right now. And that's a 23 watt efficiency bulb on the other side, placed outside the tank. Okay. I was thinking about getting one of those little fountain lights down there, uh, but I decided to lamp with the bulb. The lamp, of course, is plugged into the ground. This is important in case there's any leakage. Uh, that'll prevent an electrical shock out here. Again, GFCIs are always important when you're working with, uh, with, uh, with electricity and working in areas with a lot of moisture. Okay, we're working on adjusting the height of this uh, water level. Uh, the grow bed was dry tonight as we touched it. We did a measurement, we dug a little hole, and the water was coming up about an inch and a half below the surface. We wanted to get about a half inch from the surface, so uh, we're being, we've been adjusting this loop. And of course, it's easier said than done. <laughs> so just move that thing up and down at this point right here. Uh, the bed is uh, the the level of, in the grow bed is moving from that point to this point in about six minutes, and that's about six inches. Okay. Uh, we we're trying to count fish. We had 20 in the tank a few days ago, and of course. Uh, Tonight, uh, the water was clear enough for us to be able to see that one of the fish were in fact stuck to the filter, pulled it up, it had died sometime in the last 24 to 48 hours, not really sure when. Okay, but we have 19 comet goldfish. The fish that was dead was about an average sized fish, it's about three and a half inches long. Uh, again, we're experimenting with the comet goldfish just to see if we can in fact keep them alive. Uh, it gives my wife and I an opportunity to learn something about water chemistry. We know that to successfully grow a tilapia and a catfish, we have to really uh, be on top of our game when it comes to uh, that quality of water. And uh, th that's so that's one of the things that we're learning in this uh, process. Another thing that I got to uh, work on is uh, adding water uh, because I'm, I'm not sure how much is evaporating in here. It's winter time. It's been kind of dry. So I've got uh, this is a water level is about 150 gallons or around 600 liters this is a two and a half gallon bucket holding about 10 liters and that's full of uh, some uh, water tap water and what I'm going to do is uh, let the uh, uh, chlorine uh, sort of evaporate overnight and bring this bucket up to temperature uh, the room temperature here is about 55 56 degrees okay we'll let that come up to some room temperature and I'll add that tomorrow night Okay, I'm not sure how much we'll have to add. I'm guessing maybe a, a bucket a week. I'll know more soon. Uh, the thermometer uh, over there is measuring uh, 69, 70 degrees. That's our goal. We want to be mid-range between 65 and 75. You know, we want the fish to be active uh, in the sense that they're eating and that they're producing waste products that goes in the water so we can filter that up into the grow bed. Okay, so on this part three, again, just to summarize, we're now making tweaks. We're working in water level, we're working with the, the water quality through filtration, and we're looking at adding more water to the system. And then we're trying to figure out how many plants we can actually get inside the grow bed. And we've discussed the possibility of perhaps of adding a second one. I do have to say that I do have a tiny leak here in the back with the RTV. I'm not very good at applying that stuff, and I'm not sure if we have the right temperature, but there's a little drop. It's about a drop every two minutes. I'll keep an eye on that to see how bad that uh, behaves. Okay, there's a, one last look at our fish. I had a few here hopping around. Maybe they're coming, coming alive right now. Who knows? All right, well, that's about it for now. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye now.